Greetings! Happy Sunday to everyone. Welcome to phase three. Congratulations if you've made it this far. Uh, we're going to start a new a series of yoga exercises this week, focusing on the neck and the shoulders. We're going to get those loosened up. There's only a few that I'm going to start with because we want to start out light. And uh, we're going to, well, that would be Sophie putting her two cents worth in. So we're going to start out light and this will be your weekly instructional video. So watch this several times, learn the poses, and then for the rest of the week we're just going to move through them so that uh, we can cut down on the time. So you spend one day learning the poses and it won't take you very long to get your workout done. And that way you can squeeze it in at any time of the day. All right, shall we get started? Here we go. Uh, we are going to start out. We're gonna sit in an easy pose. This is just sitting here in like half lotus. And we're gonna take 12 deep breaths in. So we just sit back straight. You wanna look like this. You want to be up on your sit. Sometimes you have to lift and come up on your sit bones. You can feel those. Those are the bones that's right here in the in your cheek. So we want to sit on our sit bones, and that will help us sit erect. And you want to sit, and you want to just breathe and keep those shoulders back. And let's keep our chin tucked. Feel like there's a string pulling you up from the crown of your head and your chest out back as straight as you possibly can get it. And let's just take 12 deep breaths. Relaxing the body with each breath. Six more. Five more. Three more. going to do a variation of cobra pose where we're going to stretch our neck from side to side. So we're going to come over, we're going to lay on our stomach, like so. Put your hands on your sacrum and turn your face to the right side. We'll hold this for 10 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to raise up just enough so you can turn your head the other direction and hold that for ten seconds. And then we'll switch back. Now we will be doing more of these. You can do um, probably three of these to get a good 30 second stretch on uh, both sides but you don't want to hold the whole 30 seconds because that can be kind of tiring and exhausting on your neck at first so we want to just do 10 seconds at a time for three different uh, sequences okay then we're going to come back up on our tabletop come back to the easy seated pose and we're going to do the easy seated twist. Now if you remember when I was doing the half lord of the fishes this was the alternative to doing that pose for those of you who could not 
sit like this and turn. This is the easy seated twist. And what we will do is we'll take our right hand to our left knee, left hand behind us. We're going to twist and turn our neck as far as we can. It's comfortable. And you can feel a little bit of a pull there. And we're gonna hold that for 30 seconds. And then we're going to come back and we're going to hold this side and do the same thing, turn as far as you can for 30 seconds. That will be your second pose called the seated twist pose. Our third is going to be bridge pose. We're going to do three of these at 10 seconds each. And what you'll do is you'll come down on your back, knees up, arms by your side, straight. And we're going to raise up with our hip and this is going to stretch the back of your neck and open your chest at the same time. And you'll hold that for 10 seconds. Then we'll drop down. Now, take note, when you get ready to push up, you want to press your back. Okay, see? You want to press your back in and then come up. You don't want to just come up. You want to stabilize. Press that back into the ground by pulling your stomach in and then come up to your bridge pose. And you should have a nice straight angle there. And hold that for 10 seconds, three times. Okay. And then we're going to do the extended puppy pose. Now I like this because it's kind of similar to that or dog, only easy. So we'll come up to tabletop. And what we're going to do is we're going to come down like we would in child pose we're not going to bring our belly down to touch the ground. We're going to hold that stomach up and put our forehead to the mat. And we're just going to hold this and you're going to get a nice, good stretch. You're going to get a good stretch in your back here. It's going to help lengthen these muscles and shorten these. See, sometimes when we're slouched over, these muscles get lengthened and these get shortened. So we're, that causes the hunch backs type of uh, situation. So we're going to correct the posture as well with this. And we're going to just hold this for 30 seconds like so. And that's the extended puppy pose. And then when we're done with that, we will just go right into child pose, stretch that out. And there you have it for 30 seconds. That will be this week's workout routine. You are loved, you are safe, you are wise, you are the perfect version of yourself, the best version there is, and have a great day. Love and peace. I'll see you tomorrow.